I never sing to pretty best friends. Girl. <laughs> Hey guys, Yoshida here, and today, as you can see, I have got my hair washed and blow dried, and usually that usually means getting my hair braided today. Hey, getting my hair braided today. Hey, hey, hey. All right. And in case your mama is cheap, like mine. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> We're gonna show you an easy way to do your braids. It's a simple technique that we learned on Instagram, and we're gonna share it with y'all today. But first, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Now let's get to these braids, because even though this is beautiful, I'm ready to get snatched. Here's some of the things you're gonna need. We have my braids here. Right now they're looking straight, but we're gonna braid them. I like to have a little pink highlight whenever I get my braids done. We got these little gold chain things that can add to your braids for a little bit of decoration. We, and we got the stimulating growth oil. Get in between that scalp because I get some dandruff sometimes. <gasps> and we got a, t a tinkle hair cutler. This is just a razor to- a Razor? To cut this hair, not yours. <laughs> and why do we get this? We already have a million of these. Girl, just, you know what? Let's just get to these braids because you get them a nerve. Wasting money! And some edge control, okay? Yeah. I'm taking over now. Yeah. <laughs> First, you want to section off your hair to your desired shape and size. Mommy's just putting them in the braid to get them out the way. Make sure you apply some oil to your hair so it stays healthy in your braid. My scalp is dry, so she's greasing it up. Then she parts the section to start her first braid. Mommy only braids my hair this way because she can't get the braid tight and add hair at the same time. So instead, she braids my natural hair first, which is what she's doing now. Only a little bit, not all the way down. Then when she has my natural hair braided all up, she gets her crochet tool and two pieces of the fake hair. This is gonna depend on what size you want your braid, so it's up to you. She threads the first piece of hair through the crochet tool, going vertical. Then the second piece of hair going horizontal, Then she unbraids a little bit of my natural braid. Not all the way though, cause you don't want it to unravel. And she's braiding the fake hair over my real hair. Now these aren't gonna look the neatest at the root, but it just helps people who can't mix the fake hair with the real hair at the same time. Then you just wanna keep repeating till you cover it all the braids. I'm adding in some of my pink highlights every now and then until all my braids are complete. After I'm all braided up, my mom just cuts off the little shaggy ends. You can use scissors or a razor. And now it's time to curl the tips. We're rolling up my hair in these flex rods.
and dipping them into boiling water. Be very, very, very careful on this part. It still always scares me, but mommy keeps me safe. Finally, unrelease the rollers. Brush out them baby hairs. Add some accessories if you like. And strike a pose. I really hope you guys liked how my hair turned out. I love when I have braids that are so curly and stylish. I shake my hair back and forth. I shake my hair back and forth. It's a long process, but it's worth it. But that's all for now. So you know what I'm about to say. Yoshida, Yoshida, Yoshida gone. Yoshida, Yoshida, Yoshida gone. I love ya.